Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to take a look at how to create realistic water using After Effects with no third-party plugins and also creating this simple camera push in on our logo. Let's check it out. Alright, so to start off I have my logo in the timeline. I'm going to make this a 3D layer and we'll right click and create a new camera. The camera is going to be 20 millimeters and we'll hit OK. And we'll select our logo and we're going to right click and choose pre-compose. We want to make sure move all attributes is selected and we'll rename this logo. Now we're going to go ahead and right click in the empty space and create a new solid and we'll rename this water and hit OK. We'll go ahead and move that down to the bottom. We'll right click and pre-compose this as well. We'll just name this water and make sure move all attributes is selected. So now we'll double click to open into the water comp and we'll make this a 3D layer. And I'll select the layer and hit R and we're just gonna rotate this along the X axis. And we're gonna move this layer down a bit and just sort of scale it outward a bit. That way our water layer is nice and wide. And with our water layer selected, we're going to add the fractal noise effect in the effects and presets panel. Uh, we'll go ahead and drag this to the solid and we're going to change this from basic to swirly. And to animate our waves, I'll go ahead and click the stopwatch next to evolution. And we'll move a little forward in the timeline and we're just going to sort of drag this around a little bit. And 1662 is what we'll set the evolution to. So now we'll go ahead and hop back over to our main comp, water logo. And we're gonna click the collapse transform button on our water layer. And this will allow us to rotate the camera and the water layer keeps its 3D. Generally when you pre-compose a layer, if you add a camera to it, it loses its 3D depth. So the collapse transform will keep the 3D layer that is inside the pre-comp. Now we'll right click and create a new adjustment layer. And we're going to rename this reflection. And we'll drag this down to the bottom layer in our timeline. And now we'll go ahead and select our logo layer. And we'll hit command or control D to duplicate it. And we're going to drag it down beneath our reflection adjustment layer. And we're going to go ahead and hit Y to move the anchor point down to the bottom of the logo. And we'll make this a 3D layer. And we're going to go ahead and rotate our layer. And then we're just going to drag it down a little bit. And our logo layer that sits above the water, we're going to click to make that 3D. Now we'll go ahead and select our reflection layer. And in the effects and presets panel, we want to go ahead and add the compound blur effect. So we'll double click to add that. We're going to change the layer to our water layer. And then we're going to increase the maximum blur amount until you can really start seeing those waves appear. So now I'll go ahead and click the camera, the move camera button. And we're just going to click and drag to move our camera around and kind of test the 3D here. So this is looking good. The water and our logo as well as our logo reflection all rotate. So now we can go ahead and start working on the background. I'll right click in the timeline and we'll create a new solid. And I think I'll make this kind of like a reddish color. And we'll hit OK. And I'm going to drag that down to the bottom layer in the timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and add a ramp, a color ramp to this or a gradient ramp. So we'll double click to add that. And I'm going to adjust this. We'll kind of make this fade from a darker red to a brighter red. All right, and after rotating the camera, I can kind of see the edges of my water. 
So I'm gonna hop into my water composition and we're just gonna make it a little bit wider. We'll go ahead and scale that out just a little bit more. And we'll try rotating the camera. That looks a little bit better. Could probably scale it up just a bit. We'll just stretch it outward a little more. And that looks perfect. So now we'll start adding more to the background. So I downloaded an image of just a, a city skyline. So you can find quite a few of these on Google. Uh, this is the one that I found. So it's just a, a PNG of some buildings. And so I'm gonna make this a 3D layer. We're gonna change this from the one view to the two view horizontal mode. And we can kind of position this in 3D space. So I'll move it back and just sort of position it into the frame a little bit. And in the effects and presets, I'm gonna double click on my gradient ramp to add a gradient ramp to this. And I'm gonna kind of give this the same color as our background, kind of the, the red faded to a darker red. And that's about it for this animation. Aside from that, I think I'm probably gonna duplicate the buildings in 3D space and just sort of position them a little bit, maybe add a couple clouds. You can add additional elements into the scene as long as it's a 3D layer then it'll be able to animate and be affected by the camera um, kind of like how the water and then the buildings in the background are but that about wraps up this tutorial guys thanks for checking out this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts down in the comment section or if there's any other tutorials you want me to make in the future don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one